This is a little dual axis tracker I call uh, Little Red. Um, and we've got two tiny trackers um, operating each of the uh, independent axes. Uh, this was built from a, uh, a boys BMX bicycle frame. Might be able to see that. Here I'll get up a little bit closer. So, uh, Okay, now you can see the motors that make the the tracker move. This motor here takes care of the uh, the azimuth axis. It's attached to what uh, basically to what used to be the handlebar of the bike and uh, makes the front forks turn. This actuator here is attached to our extended forks. Got this little shelf to help mount it out here. And this is where the, the wheel axle used to be. And this takes care of our, our elevation axis. Here's a good view of the altitude axis here. Flex conduit. Keeps all the wiring totally protected. You see how the, uh, the two tiny trackers are mounted there. 90 degrees apart. So the one on the side does the altitude axis. The one at the top does the azimuth. It's got a little light vein on it to uh, help just a little bit with the tracking as the, as the sun goes overhead and it's trying to figure out which way to spin to point at the sun overhead. That helps a little bit. A piece of tape works just about as good. Let me get a little closer up on the tracker here. So, the, uh, the conduit here all ends, routes down. They both come into uh, the conduit body here. It has the, uh, the, the power supply is inside here. And here we've got a, a, a standard uh, automotive. 12 volt uh, connection for our disconnect. So this has been in operation for uh, about a year here and it's uh, still looking pretty nice. If there's a, a technology where they, they said they could suddenly get 40% more power out of this, this solar panel, you'd think everybody would be all over it. That's what solar trackers are. But unfortunately, not a lot of people know about them, but they're really, really simple. So ho hopefully we can kind of demystify that and more people will, uh, will use solar tracking technology. So the tiny tracker uses a simple jar for an enclosure. It keeps it safe from the environment and allows light to get to the, the LEDs, which detect the sun's light just exactly the same way that this big solar panel does except the LEDs are have tiny tiny little silicon junctions that don't produce enough power but they make enough voltage that the little microprocessor can measure it and know where this where this source of light is where it's brighter on one side or the other so basically the tiny tracker has a, its own motor control circuit that that operates the linear actuators on the mount. The, uh, the actuators draw very little current, um, only, only about an amp or so, and uh, they've got uh, a lift strength of over 400 pounds, um, so they're really strong. It's basically a, a screw jack, and so with the, the advantage of the the, the length of the control arm and, and hundreds of, of pounds of, of strength out here. This is uh, a lot better than a, a gearhead design. Um, so this is a tried and tested uh, um, technology that was invented um, for satellite communication dishes for, for 
satellite TV and such like this. So these these have been around a long time, and these are available at uh, pretty low cost. So basically, this is an off-the-shelf component. We've got this scrap bicycle frame, just a little bit of extra iron to um, to extend the the forks here. Build this little uh, bracket out here so that we have our our uh, elevation axis mounting point, and uh, and then building a little frame to support the uh, the solar panels in the end. That's all it is to making a, a tiny tracker uh, work like a like little red here. A single axis tracker can boost energy production by thirty percent and a dual axis tracker um, over 40%, as much as 50% on a given day. All right, so this is the Solibrium. It's a heavy duty version of Little Red. Um, just like Little Red, it's got two motors um, that uh, take care of each axis. This is the equivalent of the handlebar on the bicycle, um, taking care of our vertical axis. And here's the elevation motor, which tilts this basic frame to which the rails for our photovoltaic array would be mounted. So this mount can hold uh, up to about two kilowatts worth of solar panels and uh, 90 mile an hour hurricane strength winds. Um, so it's really built to last. So we've seen a few applications for the tiny tracker how easy it is to utilize it, make a solar tracking mount from anything from a bicycle frame to, to a steel pipe. And uh, so now hopefully you'll be inspired to uh, build your own solar tracking mount and get the most power from your solar system. <laughs>